everyone welcome back to my channel data bi sql uh, so today's uh, video right uh, we will continue with the series of uh, amazon sql interview questions uh, and this will be part number 27 uh, i have already done uh, 26 part series for this uh, and there is a playlist uh, which i'll put in the comment section or a description section sorry uh, and you can follow along uh, and you can watch other 26 videos before this. Uh, so uh, before we get started, right, I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. So let's get started with today's question. So uh, there are two uh, tables over here provided, right? One is the jobs dim, which is basically uh, gives you the uh, Gives you the job IDs, right? Uh, uh, it it lists the job ID, its company ID, uh, which company posted for it, the title for that job ID, and then description for that job ID, right? Pretty start for the jobs underscore dim table, and I have covered this table in uh, part number 25 and 26. Uh, uh, so if you want to go and watch those videos, you can watch those videos as well. Uh, the jobs applicant dim is basically it is telling that for which job which applicant applied. Right, so uh, with what is the job ID, what's the job type, uh, what is the applicant ID, and the applicant is residing in which state and applicant country. Okay, so over here, the question that they have asked is display those candidates who have applied to at least two different jobs. Right, so basically, what they are, and this is very real time scenario, right? So, uh, I mean, they want us to write a query. Uh, to display the uh, display those candidates who apply to two different job right so one applicant can definitely apply to uh, you know two three four five ten fifteen jobs right I mean there's no limit uh, so we need to we need to display those who have at least applied to two jobs so basically uh, but but it can happen that a candidate has applied to only one job right and and in that case those that candidate should not appear right so uh, in this table, if you see, there is a 310 uh, applicant. Uh, has it up? Has he applied to any other jobs? Uh, 20, 30, 40, 50. No. So he has not applied to any other job. That means he's applied to only one job, right? So he should not dis be displayed, correct? So that's the query, right? So, uh, so what we need for this? So as I uh, as I keep on mentioning in my other videos as well, uh, you need to break down the question, right? In select clause and the filter clause uh, whether group by is needed in that right so uh, if you if you structure your query in, into a part right it makes it very easy so it's saying display those candidates so we need to find the candidate means applicant id so applicant id is in which table so if you see jobs applicant dim table there is an applicant id right so we need to display applicant id who have applied to at least two different jobs so jobs that means we need job id right we need job id so because we need to count the number of jobs that that candidate applied right so we need a job id job id is also in this one so both the columns are this one right so we don't really need jobs underscore them so this is sometimes given to confuse you right in in the interview question they will give they're given both the tables right but do we really need jobs underscore them no right we don't need because we we can get both the we can get both the uh, job id as well as applicant ID in the same table, right? So let's get started. So what we need to do first is we need to display, right? So we need to display the applicant ID, correct? Display those candidates. Right, and what we need to do, we have applied to at least two different jobs. So that means what we need to do, we need to count the job id right we need to come out with the count right that how many jobs each, each of these applicants have applied so moment you put a count in that it has we need a group by right because uh, uh, count is count count is uh, a sql function so with count max right the group by will have to group by right so we'll do a group by applicant underscore id right so what what happens if we do this so what happens is it groups by applicant ID and it gives a count, right? So how many jobs is applied? So as we as we saw, 310 did not have more than one job, right? Let's see 325. 325 is saying two. So let's say we will say applicant ID 
is equal to 325, right? Let's see whether we get with 2. We do have 2, right? So 40 and 50, correct? So that means our answer is correct. Let's just verify one more. And here there is 3, right? So there is 3 also. So let's say 313, right? So 313, if you see, there's 10, 20, 30. So apply to three different jobs, right? So that means our answer is correct. So now if you see 1, 2, 3, right? So what is the question? At least two different jobs, right? So at least two different jobs. That means we'll have to filter out those applicant IDs where the where it is one, right? We need two or more, correct? We need two or more. So what we can do is group by. So with group by, if you want to filter, right, the having will go, right? So when if you want to filter on the count, right, we'll need to use having, okay? Having, okay, greater than one, right? At least two. That means greater than one or you can do greater than or equal to two, right? Either of them is fine. Uh, here I'm just doing greater than one. That means at least two. Right, so if I do this, let's see what happens. Right, you get the job, we get the applicant IDs, which are basically have applied to more than one job. Right, so these all these have applied to more than one job. Right, so that's your answer. Okay, now uh, just one uh, difference, just a note that I used having because if you have to apply a filter on the count, right, you need to use having. But if you were to apply a filter on send individual column, right, where applicant ID, right, then you need to use where, okay, having will not go with that. So in this case, let's say you, re you also want to apply the filter on applicant ID, right, you could do that here. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, it will, I think you will have to use it here, let's see it works or not, okay. Yeah, so where needs to be applied before the group by happens, right? And here if I see applicant ID, I can still use where and having, right? But I can't use, uh, you know, I, I, I need to use having for a count function, right? So if I do having count job ID, right? If I do it like this, Right, where count, I don't think so it's going to work. It's not working, every function not allowing where, right? So you, do, you understand the difference between the between the where and the and the having, right? So where is used uh, after from and before group by and where is used only at a single column level. You can't use it on a function, right? You can't use it on an aggregate function, count it, count sum, all those are aggregate function. You can't use it on those, okay? So where is that? And, but if you want to use a filtering, which is in our case, we need this, right? We want to filter out those count of jobs, which are less than, which are one, like less than two, right? At least, at least two, so two or more. So in that case, we will need to use having. So what we're doing is, let me just remove this. So what we did is, we first came out with the count, right? Count of each job. And then in order to filter out once, only uh, at least two, so that is less, greater than one, we did having, okay, having for the count of job ID, right? Having count of job ID is equal to one, and that gives you the correct answer, okay? All right, so uh, what we learned out of this is basically, uh, we learned a uh, 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 SQL function count. We learned what's the difference between having and where, right? Both are filter condition, but in which scenario, what to apply, right? So we learned, we learned both the concepts. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and please put in the comments uh, if you want me to cover any other topic uh, related to SQL, right? Or if you have any feedback on this video. Thank you.